what are action cameras like for photography and photos? Well, guess what? I'm going to show you some examples from an action camera coming up right now. Hello and welcome to the show. I'm your host Zulf and today we are basically looking at action cameras. I've done a whole series of these clips about an action camera that I've been looking at. Okay, so that is the action camera right now. It's a Ape Man A77 action camera and let's have a look at it. So there, it actually surprised me for the photos of you you could saw a sneak peek there that is an actual photo taken on this action camera i'm going to speak to you about the specs and let you know what the camera offers what the photos look like and considering the photos that i have been seeing on cheap action cameras you know what it's actually quite impressive because this one is a 4k action camera and it is it does have the sensor that it, it says it has some of the other cameras don't so this 4k action camera records at a resolution for 4k video 30 frames a second there are different models in this line which i'll do separate videos on in the past video that i made you would have seen sample video of 4k if you missed that one check in the cards i'll link you to the playlist i've made a playlist specifically for this camera but let's jump into it let me show you the actual photos and you can be well, you can let me know what you think of them, but I was quite impressed. So here's the first photo. Actually, it's not the first, it's a second photo. Let me show you the first. That was the first. So if you know anything about photography and light and you don't want to take it at the time, but I took it when it was basically sun is sitting my face. So that picture there shows you that it's backlit and obviously it's a black dog, so you can't see any detail in it. But we did a bit of messing about. We switched sides and this is the same location. I just turned around. The sun's behind me. And you can see there's a bit more detail there and for a camera of this caliber it's not too bad because there's enough detail there okay it's 4608 by 3456 dimensions which is the amount of pixels that the photo makes so it's kind of like a square format which is why it fills this square nicely and uh, the file is about three to four megabytes depending on what photo you're taking and you can see there's a nice selection of pictures here, different light variations. And it gives you an idea of what the photos can look like. So what else is it? Okay, so some of these were taken at f2.6 f-stop. So you're familiar with photography. There are different aspects of that you can adjust in the camera manually. So you can go in and say, don't go above a certain ISO. These were taken at 100 ISO, 2.6 and 200 shutter speed. So it gave me nice photos and you can see that one of these is my favorite way let me show you these are just random shots which i took in between doing the the video clips just so i got a nice selection of them that's a nice one there again there will be wide shots so you can see that's a nice location shot let's have a look at some of the details here so obviously it's not a dslr camera but you know what it's on par with a mobile phone normally I tend to say use your mobile phone it'll be better photos than your action camera but in this case nah the action camera actually did okay you can probably see that twice now up there and down there so yeah that is a look at that photos let me show you a few more his eyes were closed there which shows you the shutter speed being quicker would have helped and let's check that's just uh, okay I'll zoom in okay I like that one I use that as a thumbnail I think look that is quite let's go into his eye let's go how far can I go in okay there we go so that's his eye let's zoom back out he's got a nice bit of a head tilt going on that was a nice shot looking away and it's back to the start again so that was a quick look at the types of photos you can achieve from an action camera while you're here let me show you quickly what dimensions you can take the photos on i will make a separate video about the full specs and how to use the camera so it makes it easy for you to use but I want to show you the settings on it. So if I go to camera settings, so right now we are in camera by that little camera there, and it's at photo 20 megapixels. You basically hold the OK button down, and it'll go into the menu. And now we can go to the settings by pressing OK again. Mode. Mode image size is available. It's 20 megapixels, 16, 13, 8, and that's it. So that's a good option because if you want to do different photos and not edit them afterwards you want them to be a certain size because you might think 20 megapixels is too big so that's why they give you different options so if you hit mode again you'll come back to the other menu then you can go down and check white balance you've got a few options there for different days and lights 
So this is uh, quite handy if you're on a cloudy day. It kind of gives your uh, image a difference. And uh, we've got exposure. We've got metering mode. I put it on average. We could have put it on spot, which would have been nice. But because I had a black dog, that was why I put it on average. Because I didn't want it to be everything blown out. So that's why we got decent pictures. Sharpness, I put middle. Long exposure, you can do. ISO, I left at auto. But you can go actually 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 6400. So that is a nice varying options of ISOs. You can't see that on DSLR cameras. So it's interesting that it came on an action camera. But yeah, very impressive so far. Let's go back. And time more watermark. And driving mode. Which is basically if you plug it into your USB while you're driving, it'll record and act like a dash cam. That's quite a good option. Time watermark is basically where the time shows in the picture. Which you can see in an example I can show you here let me bring it back to desktop so in the top corner here you can see there's a little time stamp of the date and time if you need that for reference it is a good thing to have if you don't you can turn it off from here what else do we have on here okay that's back to there so that was everything for photo so that's actually quite handy now that's the photo qualities and you've seen the images i'm hoping this helps you decide if an action camera is good for your purpose but yeah considering what it was you know what Fair dues, ape man. You're a man, but you're an ape. See you guys on the next video, which will show you more about the camera and me going through the journey with the A77 action camera. I've used it as a webcam. I've used it for 4K video. I've used it for photos. What is next? You'll find out in the next video.